Ronan Reigns goes off script and refused to lose. Superstars return at WWE Night of Champions 2023. Triple H and WWE creatives plans for the World Heavyweight Championship. Solo Sokoa laughs for the first time. AJ Styles facing Seth Rollins at Night of Champions. Roman Reigns and the Usos hatred and more. Let's jump right into it. Superstars return at WWE Night of Champions 2023. WWE Night of Champions 2023 will air from the Jeddah Superdome in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia on May 27. The Stanford-based company has started gearing up for the premium live event. The recently concluded episode of WWE Raw confirmed the first match for the event, which will see Cody Rhodes lock horns with Brock Lesnar in a rematch from Backlash. Fans can expect the company to complete the match card in the coming weeks. On another note, the Saudi spectacle could witness a few potential returns. Several stars could make a comeback to WWE. WWE at the event to set up fresh rivalries leading to some mouth-watering matches this summer. The following piece will look at three superstars who could return to WWE at the event. Number 3. Alexa Bliss Alexa Bliss last featured in a match against Bianca Belair at Royal Rumble 2023. While Little Miss Bliss showed heart in going toe-to-toe -to -toe against her rival, she succumbed to a loss in the end. While Bliss has been on a hiatus since then, a recent report has revealed that she could be on WWE TV following May 27. This means that a return at the event could be in the cards for the former champion. While it will be interesting to see what the company has in store for her upon her return, Little Miss Bliss could be angling to avenge her Royal Rumble loss against the EST at the event. Number 2. Drew McIntyre Drew McIntyre's WWE future is currently hanging in the balance, given that the Scottish Warrior and the company are reportedly not on the same page. However, a recent report has revealed that the company is planning to turn McIntyre heel before pitting him against Seth Rollins in a feud for the World Heavyweight Championship. Hence, the Scottish Warrior could return at WWE Night of Champions and lay waste to Rollins. Number 1. Randy Orton returns at WWE Night of Champions. While there were murmurs of Randy Orton returning to WWE at the show's shows, it didn't happen. However, it could be that the company is saving his potential return for WWE Night of Champions. Given that WWE likes to make its Saudi events as huge as possible, fans can expect some major surprises at the show. One such surprise could be the Viper's return. As you may know, Roman Reigns is set to complete 1,000 days as Universal Champion at WWE Night of Champions. However, his celebrations could be cut short by Randy Orton. The Apex Predators certainly has some unfinished business with the tribal chief, so it wouldn't be surprising if he laid waste to Reigns upon his return. Should Grandy Orton return at WWE Night of Champions? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. Triple H and WWE Creative's plans for the World Heavyweight Championship New reports have emerged on how Triple H and company officials selected the specific stars to enter into the ongoing tournament to crown a new world champion. This past Monday on Raw, Seth Rollins outlasted five other stars to qualify for the World Heavyweight Championship match at Night of Champions on May 27, with one SmackDown star set to join him soon. Ringside News recently explained why WWE officials left certain stars out of the current tournament and why specific ones were chosen to compete for the belt. WWE is preparing to crown a new champion, but they need to get a tournament out of the way first. There were only so many spots in that World Heavyweight Championship tournament, and some people were left out for a good reason. We were told by a tenured member of the creative team that these were the matchups that made the most sense considering where we're going. Although the title will be exclusive to Monday Night Raw, many have been left confused as to why six SmackDown stars have been put in the tournament for the new World Championship. This past Saturday in Puerto Rico, WWE hosted the premium live event Backlash, with Bad Bunny versus Damian Priest being one one of the standout matches of the show. Speaking on Sports Kita Wrestling's unscripted, WWE legend Sevio Vega, who made a surprise return during the bout, commented on Triple A's reaction to the match. He congratulated everybody. He talked to Bad Bunny. He talked to Damon Priest. Shook my hand. Carlitos too. He said, wow, what a show. He was in the director's seat with Bruce Pritchard. And yes, he came out of his seat and congratulated everybody, said Sevio Vega. Since Triple H took over as WWE's head of creative last July, it can be argued that the overall quality of Raw, SmackDown, and the monthly premium live events have significantly improved. How would you rate Backlash out of 10? Let us know in the comments section below. Solo Sicko laughs for the first time. Solo Sicko's serious demeanor has made him one of the most intimidating superstars in WWE. While the 30-year-old star has done admirably well to stay in character, even he couldn't help but smile because of Sami Zayn during a house show. Just like how every talent tried their best to make The Undertaker break kayfabe back in the day, it seemed like Sami Zayn had also accepted the challenge to make the Bloodline members corpse during their segments. Jey Uso was an easy target as you find a lengthy compilation of him hilariously laughing when he wasn't supposed to. Sami Zayn revitalized the Simone storyline and arguably did some of his best work in WWE during his stint as the honorary use. The six-time champion was part of the bloodline during their triumphant effort at Survivor Series, War Games last year. The faction arrived at the Cross Insurance Arena in Portland, Maine the next day for a stacked WWE Sunday Holiday Super Show, where Zayn did the honors of introducing his fellow stablemate. Solo Sicko was still new to the main roster and 
already developed a reputation for being a dominant and serious force in the bloodline. The former NXT star could not help but crack for the first time when Sami Zayn hiked him up. Sikoto quickly covered his face as he gathered himself before returning to his default expression. Solo Sikko is one of the few superstars who try to be in character even when he's not on WWE TV. He famously attempted to do the same during his appearance on Xavier Woods' You Pup Down Down channel, but eventually caved in. The former NXT North American champion is the closest thing to Umaga WWE has had since the latter terrorized the roster. Solo Sikko even executes the Samoan spike in honor of the late great superstar and showcased the same intensity inside the squared circle. Solo made his main roster debut at Clash at the Castle by helping Roman Reigns defeat Drew McIntyre. He's since been one of the biggest reasons why the Tribal Chief is still the undisputed WWE Universal Champion. The enforcer of the bloodline is Roman Reigns' current favorite, and recent developments have made it evident that the Usos could soon be kicked out of the stable. Solo Sikko is the younger brother of Jimmy and Jay in real life, and he almost attacked the former tag team champions when they teamed up at Backlash, confirming the apparent dissension between the Anoli family members. Sikko and the Usos somehow managed to beat the team of Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, and Matt Riddle, but it came at a cost as Sikko almost hit Jay Uso with the Samoan spike. Fans have dissected the moment between Jay and Solo, and have multiple theories about how it might impact the Bloodline's immediate future. While there are multiple possibilities, Solo Sikko will undoubtedly continue to be Roman Reigns' right-hand man as the Usos might get booted out of the most dominant group in WWE. Given how protected Solo is in kayfabe, he could even go against Roman Reigns in the distant future and have a pretty good feud with the head of the table. Would you like to see that happen? Sound off in the comments section below. Roman Reigns to face Bobby Lashley at WWE Night of Champion Roman Reigns has made more enemies in the locker room than friends during his run with the top prize in WWE. The Tribal Chief is set to reach 1,000 days as champion, and fans expect him to defend the title soon. The fans are now pushing for the champion to defend the titles against Bobby Lashley in Saudi Arabia. Earlier this year, Roman Reigns overcame several odds in WWE when he beat Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, and Cody Rhodes. He later got Jey Uso back in the bloodline and successfully stopped the American Nightmare's journey to to the top with the help of Solo Seco. Meanwhile, Bobby Lashley's WrestleMania feud and match with Bray Wyatt were scrapped before the event. Fans are now pushing for the former WWE Champion, who got drafted to SmackDown, to go after the undisputed WWE Universal Championship at Night of Champions 2023. A feud with the Almighty would be fresh and something that the Tribal Chief would need ahead of reaching another massive milestone in the company as the champion. In 2021, Bobby Lashley and Roman Reigns were in a triple threat match on Monday Night Raw, which the latter won. In 2018, Bobby Lashley Ashley made his grand return to WWE when he appeared on Monday Night Raw after WrestleMania 34. He immediately attacked Elias on the show and officially joined the Red Brand. Unfortunately, he did not have a match at WrestleMania 34. Meanwhile, Roman Reigns was once again feuding with Brock Lesnar for the Universal Championship and lost at WrestleMania 34. A while later, the Big Dog and the Almighty's paths collided on the Red Brand. The two stars won a match with the Beast Incarnate. In July 2018, Reigns faced Lashley in a singles match at WWE Extreme Rules Premium live event. In the end, Bobby Lashley ended up pinning the big dog. The Almighty joined a list of elite athletes who were able to defeat Reigns without any shenanigan. However, Roman Reigns received another shot at Brock Lesnar and won the Universal Championship. Meanwhile, Bobby Lashley was paired with Leia Rush as his new manager, and the two ended up making Lashley a two-time Intercontinental Champion. What are your thoughts on a match between the Tribal Chief and the Almighty? Sound it off in the comment section below. AJ Styles facing Seth Rollins at Night of Champions Seth Rollins outdid The Miz, Shinsuke Nakamura, and Finn Balor, returning the favor to the latter. The Visionary had lost the first ever WWE Universal Championship match at SummerSlam 2016 to The Demon. After spending nearly four years away from world titles, Seth Rollins finally has a legit opportunity to capture the new World Heavyweight Championship at Night of Champions. But will he? As one of the guests in the latest edition of WWE The Bump, AJ Styles teased a rematch against The Visionary from Money in the Bank 2019, where the then Universal Champion retained over the Phenomenal One. Often cited as two of the best in-ring performers of their generation, AJ Styles versus Seth Rollins is a major possibility for the show. This could only happen if Styles manages to go through Edge, Rey Mysterio, and the winner of Austin Theory versus Sheamus versus Bobby Lashley on the upcoming edition of WWE SmackDown. When asked about the potential of facing Seth freaking Rollins in Saudi Arabia on May 27th, AJ Styles had this to say, Bring it on. I'm ready. I want it, he exclaimed. I owe him one. So last time we met, he was able to take it on me. It won't be the same this time. I'll make sure of that. Much like Seth Rollins, AJ Styles has also not won a world title since he last held the WWE Championship between late 2017 to late 2018. The word on the rumor mill is that a newly drafted SmackDown star will win the World Heavyweight Championship and move to the Raw brand. While we can't be 100% certain that this is, in fact, the direction the company is going, AJ Styles becoming the inaugural champion is believable and very probable. 
Roman Reigns and the Usos' hatred Fans are convinced Roman Reigns and the Bloodline don't like Nia Jax after WWE uploaded an unseen picture from the 2023 Royal Rumble. At the Rumble this year, former WWE superstar Nia Jax made a return in what ended up being a one-off appearance. She participated in the 2023 Women's Royal Rumble match and was quickly thrown out of the ring. She lasted less than two minutes in the match. WWE recently uploaded a bunch of never-before-seen pictures of Roman Reigns' The Bloodline faction. One of those pictures features an interesting pre-show moment involving Reigns and the Uso. In what seemed like a rehearsal, Nana Jax's entrance theme was playing inside the Alamodome. Reigns and the Usos didn't look too thrilled with it, judging by their facial expressions. As Survivor Series 2020, Reigns made WWE scrap a table spot involving Lana and Nia Jax. As per Lana, Reigns and Jax butted heads backstage over the issue. Here's what she said while speaking with Chris Jericho. We were supposed to do this whole table spot on the show, and then Roman did not want because he had a table spot with Drew McIntyre. So there was some major pushback. The Simones, Naya, and Roman, you know, the whole thing. Like, oh my god, I'm caught in the middle of this drama, and so we had a huge spot. Like, I was supposed to be laid out in the very beginning. I was supposed to get in the ring and Maya snatch me because the whole point was everyone on the team were healed. I was the only baby face, and they're gonna be all against me, and she was gonna lay me out. Maya Jax was let go by WWE in late 2021. Her Royal Rumble 2023 appearance didn't sit well with a lot of fans, and she hasn't stepped foot in the ring since then. What do you make of this picture? Do you believe there's heat between Naya Jax and Roman Reigns? Let us know in the comments section below. Roman Reigns goes off script and refused to lose. Roman Reigns looks stronger now in WWE than he has for most of his career, heading towards 1,000 days as the Universal Champion. The current undisputed WWE Universal Champion could get even more over with the crowd, according to veteran wrestler Magnum Tay, if he goes for an off script angle on TV. Reigns has held on to the title for so long that many fans can't imagine anyone but him holding the championship. Multiple contenders have challenged him for it, but lost every time. No matter how likely it looked or how much the fans thought it was finally time for Reigns to lose, the champion retained the title at the end of the day. During his appearance on Busted Open Radio, Magnum Tay spoke about an angle the WWE needed to book with Roman Reigns. He said the champion should look like he was going off script from what WWE had planned and flip out on television. In that off script moment, he would then need to convince the crowd that he had gone against plans and tell them that he would not lose the title. They can work a program that made it look like he went off script and flipped and just said, you know what, I'm the world champion and I'll hold it as long as I want to. And somebody is going to have to come take it from me because I'm not giving it up, said Magnum. Although it looked like Roman Reigns and Solo Siko would be split up from the Usos, they ended up as part of the same brand after the WWE draft. There appear to be fractures within the bloodline with Sikoa and the Usos almost coming to blows last week. It will be interesting to see how Reigns addresses this when he returns to TV. How long do you think Roman Reigns will hold the title? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. Feel the blood creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gon' feed them If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon I got eyes in the back of my head, I'm seeing Take me for granted and you 